Oh, it's cold again today. I can't tell you the temperature though because the temperature gauge isn't showing. I just stood out there <clears throat> waiting for the post van that I saw go up the road because I, um, I'm going to, I'm not going to say stupidly because it's really difficult when you're going through a, a website that is in French and you're not quite understanding what you're reading. And I, um, by mistake, ticked the box for the, for, um, Isabeau's parcel to be picked up from my post box. Well, you saw the size of the parcel yesterday. <laughs> that wasn't going to go in the post box. Um, so I have, I've been sort of on, on watch out of my window this morning a bit. I mean, I have a vague idea of when the post comes, but we're getting different post people recently. So they're all slightly different timings. Um, but I've just been out there and he's taken it. So it's on its way, Isabeau. Make sure you're in. It's so big, it's not going to go in your post box either. So maybe you'll get it tomorrow or maybe you'll get it Saturday. Who knows? Um, and happy birthday. Happy birthday and Merry Christmas all in one go. I hope you enjoyed the bird video. Um, I haven't rewatched it yet. It's still uploading and um, I haven't watched it yet. Not rewatched it. I haven't watched it yet. It's still uploading. I could see when I was looking out of the window, I could see there was a magpie on the ground, but probably out of shot. I also saw a robin and after I'd stopped filming, I saw a blackbird. So I don't know what you saw. I think it takes a while for the birds to break through and start the ball to crumble. And I'd forgotten that you're meant to try and you're meant to crumble it yourself a bit to make it more accessible. So they weren't that keen to start with. But um, they're not on there now, but they're, they're eating the ones that are in near the window that are hanging from the pergola. So it's not pergola. It's a pergola. Sorry. Um, I've just let the sheep, I've just let Ida out of the back garden. Um, we've been closing the gate during the day to keep the chickens out because they come and shit on the patio. And I said to Mark this morning, you've left the gate open. So he went back out and closed it, but he's closed Ida in and I hadn't realised. And um, I could hear her calling just now as I came back from um, delivering the parcel to the postman. So um, I let her, it was a bit confusing, really. So I let her out. She didn't seem that bothered. And as I closed the gate, she came back to the gate as if to say, well, no, I want to come back in now. I think it's that she wants a choice. But she hasn't got a choice. She's closed out. I haven't yet heard the younger cockerel crowing. Um, and I, I still think that they're managing between them. There isn't any big fights going on. So I'm hoping that that will be how it continues um two cockerels are too many for these hens um, and i will try and bring in some more hens and add to the flock at some point that's a bit risky at the moment because of the um, avian flu but i will try and increase the flock so that there's you know the hens are not being bothered by two cockerels because there's only what are there there's the two black girls and the two mums i call them two mums because i don't know which one was the mum and the expat who who does they do tread her as well so there's five hens is not enough for two cockerels um as you will have realized i did manage eventually to pay my ticket pay for the ticket tickets um that became really stressful again i found it really stressful and by the when i actually got to pay this pay the tickets and it was about four o'clock in the afternoon the, the, the there was a whole anti-climax afterwards because it just went Okay, you're booked. There we go. There's your itinerary. We've emailed you. It was quite an anticlimax after days and days of trying to book. Somebody said to me that I should have an internet phone number. I have an internet phone number, but I don't have a handset. So I can't use the internet phone to make an internet make a call. I've got no handset and I don't understand how it works. So if I don't need a handset, tough. But I don't know. And what I was getting when I was trying the number that I had, which I think was taking me to America again, was um, in the lead up, you know, we'll press one for this, press two for that. And if you want this, press the pound sign. Well, there was no pound sign on my keypad pad. So it was all very um, stressful for me. I, I, by the end of yesterday 
afternoon I was feeling stressed and hadn't realised that I was feeling stressed and Mark had got loud music on he'd bought a new um, Joe Cocker box set of something and um, he'd got that on loud and at some point I closed his door to try and reduce the impact of it and and it didn't and the, and the problem for me is Joe Cocker is from an era that um, brings up shite for me and I can't talk about the shite you know I wouldn't be able to put into words what it brings up for me but it brings up an era which is his era it's you know the hippie hippie sort of um I'm not even sure what date it would be what date would it be sort of 60s late 60s but it wasn't a great time for me it wasn't a great time in the family um I have an older sister who I don't talk about um who put the family through quite a bit during those years um and was off the rails um she's still off the rails really i suppose i i don't have any contact with her but yeah so it sort of brings up all that crap so i was feeling quite little by yesterday evening um and just i don't know i just wasn't feeling so good um I was my hands were really really painful and that's the, the 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 other part of that is that I'd taken that extra steroid uh, 10 milligrams of steroids two days before or I don't know 36 hours before well obviously there's going to be a come down and that was that was what was happening so there was lots of stuff going on and it was it was quite unpleasant but I feel back to my normal self today my hands are still not comfortable I've got art this afternoon and I'm pastelling, but I think I'll be okay. I'm going to take my strong painkillers um, at midday, so I think I'll be okay. Um, hope you got the. Um, we were okay with my um, title of the birds. I couldn't resist putting no candles. That was just so funny. Um, I'm not going to say any more than that because I'm. It isn't for me to be trashing yet another chateau channel but for fuck's sake saying no more um i think that's it probably isn't there is probably something else i was probably thinking oh i know i'm gonna talk about this i know i'm gonna tell you that and as normally happens it goes out of my head because i i somebody complained about this months ago that i do a lot of preamble before I get to whatever the point of the video is um, and it's just what I do it's just my norm it's 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 how I roll and and as you know these videos are just me rolling spon and spontaneous monologuing and I can't I can't change that I won't change that um, anyway that's it for today. If I think of anything else, when you'll get another one tomorrow. I'm sure you'll get another one tomorrow. Oh, lights are going out. Um, <clears throat> oh, everything's gone. Oh, oh, and we're off again. We're having a power cut. Okay, so see you tomorrow.